That is a natural phenomena that you are questioning things. It's a very healthy thing, thing to do because you no longer want to be this robot that when they press this button you're going to be reacting this way and they press that button and that is going to happen. And it's very predictable. And you begin to recognize the small things in life, the subtle things in life, that they have value. Which before, you could not notice it because you are into being efficient. Being efficient is not going to allow you to stop and smell the roses because that's not efficient. Being efficient is not allow you to go out in your garden and sit there and just not do anything because you have to do something all the time. If you're sitting in a garden, then you should be posting on Facebook or on Instagram or something. You cannot just be. As you remember earlier, I said mechanicalness, being mechanical, doesn't coexist with being aware. Because awareness doesn't need a reason. It's only when you're mechanical you have you need reasons to do things. Awareness doesn't ask you, requires any reasons. You're simply exercising your true nature. You're hanging out in your garden, maybe for one hour, and you're not being efficient. You're not accomplishing anything, but you're simply sitting there, smelling the air, looking at the wind, going through the bamboos. The trees are moving. You can hear the birds. And it's the first time you start to realize, wait a minute, there's a family of crows living around my house. They're talking to each other. I never noticed that. You're looking in your garden and you're finding groups of different vegetations that they have same pattern, same looks, and some are smiley, some are different, and you start noticing things, life, around you that you've never noticed before because you were too busy producing kids and cleaning after them or being a good wifey or being a good husband to produce and being efficient. So you missed out on life and the cycle of life. And of course, because you're efficient, and you robot and robots they're gonna react to based on their programming so you're afraid of death and you're afraid of birth and you're afraid of this and you're afraid of that but you don't know why you're afraid of them because you never examine your fears either You never took the time to look at things or see why you're afraid of them. Have you ever looked at it? Have you ever spent five minutes really paying attention why you're afraid of whatever, of being broke, being homeless, being left out, losing someone, 
world changing have you ever thought about it that why am i afraid of it or are you just afraid of it most humanity is never ever bothered asking that question you've got a mind god gave you a mind you might as well use it every once in a while. Normally, you're haunted by it. And when you're using it, you're taught and conditioned to use it for being efficient. But you're not taught to question. That's one thing you're not supposed to do. You're supposed to obey. So when you're listening to the news and everything you're hearing, you're supposed to buy it and get afraid or get excited or get dressed to go to war or hate other races or other cultures or whatever because this is what you're supposed to do. Hi, Suzanne. I, uh, okay. Yeah. Hi. Hi. I, I, uh, this morning I was, uh, I got your message actually, uh, but I, I was a good boy yesterday, a past couple of days. So I was, uh, thinking about what am I going to talk about today. As I mentioned before, I've been having a, the academy for past four years. So when you are having for four years, uh, and you know, I don't interview other people. So it's, it's a solo mission. So I'm the one who every week talks about a new subject. You do run out of topics. Got after it. four years <laughs> so i did ask you all to uh write to me and i appreciate that you did so i haven't forgotten so i will talk about what you asked me to talk about next wednesday how's that and if anybody else has any other topic you want me to talk about just write it to me i'm starting to i, I actually got some of you did write to me, so I'm making a list of um, what you have asked me to talk about, and I'll go through all of it one at a time. But sometimes, yeah. you know, I get an inspiration or I get a hit that there's something comes up for me, and I feel like I need to talk about that. And uh, yeah, just I'll... ask up, you know, and the inspiration will come what is needed to cover, or you can either repeat as well, right? Because it doesn't matter that we know and we already heard that, but you forget things, you know, because either you don't practice or you just don't take it in that much or you evolve. So you need to, again, reminder. So why not, right? Absolutely. Where I'm asking the above and here you are. You are <laughs> the above speaking to me. <laughs> <laughs> but I knew you will not forget, but then I just wanted to just, uh, yeah, write it. To yeah, you. no, I, I, I did forget and that you wrote it to me again. I remember it. Yeah. But it's, yeah. So That's sometimes good. something comes as an email. If I don't put it in my notes or put a note and just stays in the email, then the email gets buried and I'll, you know, unless I just go, yeah. yeah. So I appreciate it. You're not bugging me by reminding me, actually. No. no. I'm not afraid, even though. So. <laughs> good. I'm happy that you're not. <laughs> you really roasted us today. Really good. That's really well, nice. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy to. I'm happy that. I, I'm happy I was of some value to you. You always are. Well, thank you. Thank you.